There are fears that extremism is on the rise in Jordan amongst groups of Palestinian refugees whose families fled during the Israeli War of Independence. Over the decades, refugee camps have become their homes, but many in the community dream of one day returning. Paul Slier has a story. 77-year-old Othman Balathme can hardly walk or hear, but he remembers every detail of that night in 1948, when as a teenager, he and other panicking Palestinian refugees fled for the safety of Jordan during Israel's War of Independence. They left with nothing more than the clothes on their back, and 60 years on, they're still dreaming of returning. My children have never seen Palestine, but I taught them that one day we will return. I promise them this. We'll accept nothing but the return to Palestine. No money, no compensation, no more empty promises. Othman's son Arafat was born in Amman and grew up in al Baqa, the largest of the 13 Palestinian refugee camps in Jordan. He's never visited his father's village, which is today a thriving Israeli city. But he believes in the Quran, which he says promises it won't be long before he returns. I think there is a new... Um, motion or new movement to work not by speaking only I think there is another steps to liberate our homeland because the uh, peace negotiation and other things related with these things cannot do anything for us the implication is clear and authorities in Jordan fear that refugees like these are contributing to the growing terror threat over the last few years, dozens of people have been killed in attacks. Ever since three hotels were simultaneously bombed in 2005, there have been major security checks at every official building. Experts say the terrorism was imported from abroad, and very little of it is homegrown. But homegrown or not, it's on the increase, warns former Israeli Security Service Chief Danny Yatom. If the Hashemite regime will not fight it the way they do it, it might become an existential threat to the kingdom because uh, we have to bear in mind that uh, uh, there are at least uh, two million uh, Palestinian refugees living in Jordan. Uh, almost 100% of, of them carry Jordanian passports. There are also uh, close to one million Iraqi refugees. But some Jordanian officials say the threat is exaggerated. They blame the Israelis and Americans for painting a false picture of regional instability. United States have to justify its presence in the region, saying that every country in the region having extremism and terrorism. Uh, at the end of the day, if we don't have extremism and if they are done fighting terrorism, that is what they are doing in Iraq and Afghanistan. Today in al Baqa camp, one in five people is unemployed. It's hard to escape a sense of disillusionment growing and hope fading. No one here wants Jordan as their permanent home. But with no real answer of where is, below the surface, the pressure cooker that is their life continues to boil, with the threat of one day exploding. Paulus Lear, RT, Al-Baka Refugee Camp, Jordan.